the movie opens with a voiceover from Puss in Boots, telling us a tale about a shooting star, that fell from the sky and scorched the forest trees into black, creating a dark forest, while the wishing star landed at its center, bringing life to it, according to legend, the star contains a single wish that is waiting for someone deserving to make it come true, as a living legend, Puss is enjoying himself, as we witness him throwing A when the governor of Del Mar gets home from a party and discovers that, his most priceless possessions have been ruined, he becomes enraged and orders his guards to catch Puss, Puss who battles the men with minimal trouble, as his celebrants were busy singing a song about what a great hero he is, he deceived the guards, defeated the governor, and launched himself away while setting off some fireworks, from the governor's house for fun, but unknowingly this awakens a sleeping monster, that lives beneath the city the monster immediately attacks the house, while the party was going on and started to capture everyone, Puss who sees this, launches himself in a guitar and engages in an epic battle with a one-eyed giant, as it is trying to destroy the town cleverly, he wraps a bell around the giant's horns, and use it to knock the monster out to unconsciousness, we see all the people who were drops and is crushed Puss to the ground, Puss wakes up to find himself in the office of the village doctor, who informs him that, he died as a result of a bell accident, but he brushes this off because he doesn't seem to be afraid because cats had nine lives, the doctor then asks him how many times he has died, but Puss doesn't remember because he is not good at maths, but he was still able to recall all the events that led to his deaths, first was when he was struck by a bull, second was when he was slain by some dogs during a poor poker game, third was when he fell from a castle while drinking milk, Gingy the gingerbread man made a surprise appearance as Puss was getting burnt while making cookies, and the eighth time was when he was crushed by a bell, which happened recently, this means Puss has died eight times, making him to have just one more life left, the doctor seriously advises Puss to retire from his life of adventure, but the cat seems confident about himself, and continues to launch himself out of cannons, absolutely nothing to worry about, while enjoying a drink at a bar and reflecting on what the doctor had told him, a mysterious big bad wolf approaches him and offers to sign his autograph, however, after seeing the wanted paper plus realizes that, this man is out to kill him, and pulls out his sword to defend himself, the man quickly disarms him, this wolf turns out to be the most formidable foe that Puss has ever faced, has ever encountered, as he effortlessly parries his blows and cuts Puss with his weapon, causing Puss to be truly terrified for the first time, unable to escape this life-threatening threat, Puss made the decision to give up adventure, as he buried his boots and gear underground and went to the home of an elderly woman, named Mama Luna while acting like a cute abandoned cat, making the elderly woman adopt him, we see hundreds of cats inside Mama Luna's home, she also gave Puss in Boots a new name, Pickles, and bathed him like a young child, however, we also see Goldie, a girl, and three bears named Papa, Mama, and Baby, we learn that these three bears are bounty hunters, who are looking for Puss in Boots location, so that he can start working at his new job, Puss meets Perito, a little dog who acts like a cat, he appears to be overjoyed when he learns that, Puss can speak Goldie and the three bears, once Papa Mama and Baby found Mama Luna's home, they broke in and demanded to know, where Puss in Boots was when Baby picked up Puss, he didn't recognize him, because of his grown beard and he wasn't wearing his outfit, suddenly they discovered a grave, and when baby noticed Puss sent in the grave, they all came to the conclusion that, Puss was buried there, when they were discussing, how they needed him for a heist to steal a map, that leads to a wishing star, and the map is in the possession of a man named, Big Jack Horner, Puss who is dead peeps from the other side and overhears, excited, Puss decides to return to his heroic activities, and as well find the map, before the bounty hunter so he can bring back his nine lives, as soon as Puss entered Big Jack's home with a dog Tortilla, who thinks he may be of great assistance to him on his quest, we learn that Jack is a person, who steals various magical artifacts from fairy tale characters, just as the fairies, growing biscuit from Alice in Wonderland, Snow White's poisoned apples, and Cinderella's glass slippers, Jack intends to use the map to find the wishing star, in order to acquire all of the world's wealth, while he was preoccupied, Puss attempts to take advantage of the chance to steal the map, but Kitty Soft Paws, who was once his flame, stops him, attempting to locate the map, a loud argument draws Jack's attention and he and his henchmen begin to pursue them, however, Puss and Kitty were able to jump into a carriage, being driven by Perito, who helps them escape from Jack's pursuit, Jack sends his henchmen to pursue them, but Puss was able to escape, because she was formally recruited by Goldie so they can steal the map, but wants to have it for herself, Puss suddenly becomes terrified of everyone in the village, as the heroes flee when he notices the large, evil wolf watching him from the throng, as Kitty and Erido use the map to reach the dark forest, through a portal where the wishing star is located, on their quest to find the star. They discovered that the map could change the landscape, when Puss and Kitty grab it, their paths are destined to be dark and dangerous, but when Burrito holds it, the path transforms into a happy rainbow land because of his never-ending optimism, as a result, they decided to give Perito the map, when they saw Goldie and the bears, 
who had just arrived at the dark forest, they were forced to move more quickly on their quest, along the way, many enormous flowers began to attack them, but when Burrito, attempted to chop through the flowers to make a route, but the henchmen were devoured by them. Jack then employs the phony X, one of his magical creatures, to pass, Puss and Kitty are shocked by how depressing Peridot's story is, as he tells them about his past life and how his family members hated him so much, and wanted to get rid of him, but he thought perhaps they weren't serious and kept returning to the house, however, one day his family was able to get rid of him by throwing him in a sock with a rock into the ocean, Perito finds the good in everything he encounters, the plot of the narrative is that Perito sees the good in everything, we see him leading the team into a vividly colored forest, but it turns out that Jack and his goons were already there, they kidnap Perito and threaten Puss to hand over the map, a new epic battle then breaks out, Puss sees an apparition of the big evil wolf, and flees into the forest out of terror, as Goldie and the bears appear on the scene, just in time for him to have the chance, to collect back the map they lost during the fight, Perito was able to stop him he found him under a tree, looking very afraid, but he gave him comfort so he could feel better, Puss tells Perito that he is down to his last life, and that is what is really causing him to be afraid, Puss also tells him a story, about how he was supposed to marry Kitty, in a church on the day of their wedding, but he left her, because he felt there was no room for anyone, in his life of adventure, when Kitty hears Puss apologize for hurting her, she chooses to help him. On the other hand, Puss and his group manage to sneak inside the cabin, with Puss being able to retrieve the map once more, but unfortunately, they were spotted by the bears, as they tried to escape, but Goldie captures Perito and holds him as hostage, as the entire place begins to shift with Puss, back up when Goldie opens the map, it leads her to a very old cabin, where she started to get memories, about how she was an helpless little orphan, until the bears decided to take on the other hand. We see Perito being captured, while Goldie and Baby, started to exchange insults until Perito tells them that they are all a perfect family, but they don't just realize it yet and wishes he had won just like they do instantly, he shows Kitty the map, so she will be able to find the location of Perito, while he finds a way to escape the crystals. Goldie and her bear thought about adopting him as a family, because of how much they had grown to love him, but Cat somehow manages to take the burrito and escape, Goldie and the bears got separated in the forest, which caused them to argue once more, during this argument, Goldie revealed that she was searching for the wishing map, in order to find a real human family, which shocked the bears because they all thought of her, as their real family, however, Mama still made a promise to help Gold fulfill her wish if it would make her happy, meanwhile, we see Jack once more using his men, as a bridge to cross the mountain, but as he tries to Jack is flipped away from his shoulder, and meets with his former eight lives who try to convince him to give up Kitty and Perito, and find the wishing star for himself, so he can get his nine lives back, but he thinks, he might not need to do that, because he is enjoying his current life with Kitty and Perito, but his epiphany is interrupted a magical creature, who witnesses this calls Jack an egocentric person, but he is flipped away from his shoulder was inside a cave, escapes in terror in the meanwhile, Puss was finally able to locate the wishing star and started to perform the incantation, I hope, I may, I wish, I might to make the wish, Kitty saw him rushing and was extremely sad, because she thought, he was trying to double cross them, he was about to tell her that, death is pursuing him and he is down to his last life, when Kitty and Perito show up, thinking he was trying to betray her once more, after they had a conversation about sharing the wish, but that's when Goldie and the bears, and as well as Jack and his henchmen show up, while they were all engaged in a truly epic fight, conflict starts as they contend over the map, the last of Jack's henchmen were swallowed by the shining light, as it rose off the ground and created a force field that spit people out, the baby was almost pulled up as well, but the goalie sacrificed her chance to receive the wish, in order to save the child after realizing the bears were her true family, in order to save Perito, Kitty fights off Jack and pushes him to his bottomless bag, this happens just as, Puss is considering fulfilling his wish to be eaten by the great bad wolf, suddenly enters the scene and traps Puss in a ring of fire, he mocks Puss over his fear of dying and claims that, he would be using his wish to cheat death, however, remembering all the fun and exciting times he has had with, Kitty and Perito, Puss decides to make his last life count by picking up his sword and fighting a wolf, after a really tough battle, Puss succeeds in killing the wolf, lock up the wolf, the big bad wolf, who was expecting to capture Puss's conceited little legend, who believed he was immortal, but is now different from who he is now, suddenly becomes furious upon gazing into Puss's eyes, but, he decides that another time will come for him to see Puss again while the wolf went, Jack unexpectedly exits the sack, after devouring the expanding biscuit that transforms him into a giant, Jack takes the map and begins to make a wish, but Perito tries to divert him by flashing him his adorable puppy eyes, Jack laughs this off, claiming that he has no heart, but in reality, Perito was only trying to buy time for Golda to throw Puss and Kitty at Jack, 
while the bears join in on the fight Puss realizing they don't need the map, Kitty and Goldie made the decision to destroy it, which caused the star to start to burn up, Jack tries to put the pieces of the map back together, but Cricket used Jack's phoenix to burn the last piece, destroying the map entirely, as the star is ultimately destroyed, Jack is absorbed before the star shoots back into the sky and explodes, Puss and Kitty now see Perito as their new family, and we show them sitting and admiring the stars together, Goldie and the bears parted ways with Puss and his buddies, so they may live there happily ever after. The end, if you like this story, please subscribe to the channel and like it, to motivate me to bring you more stories like this.